Hi and welcome to Vintage Van Life. Now where do I start? I've just finished the UK in a Peel P50 and I've come back to my beloved camper van and picking up where I left off. So this video is now going to jump back to the summertime of 2021 when I was leaving Wales and eventually we'll come back to this uh, wintry day when you guys have caught up. Well good morning to everyone. It's 8 o'clock. I've been up for about an hour and a half so far just kind of getting things ready in the van so putting things that would fall off the shelves and smash and otherwise on the floor so they're all safe and uh, thanks to the help of my friend Dave I've managed to move the camper van onto the grass driveway here pointing downhill so when the guy comes with I assume a big flatbed he can just reverse up here off the road and then uh, get the poor old girl on the back I feel a bit defeated having that I drove here and having to go back home on the back of a trailer but when it comes to something like a gearbox I don't want to do more damage so Hey Bertie I'm off today I'm gonna miss this little guy Okay, so here I am at uh, Morrison somewhere, so the drivers, after a certain amount of time driving, they absolutely have to stop because they got trackers. They got to stop for 15 minutes, so uh, we've done that, but the van's still on the back, which is good. And then we'd, I'm driving 100 miles or so with this driver, and he dropped me off, and then transfer the van onto the back of a different vehicle, and then yeah, I don't know how many relays I'm going to have to go through before I get home, hopefully not too many. But um, it's nice, it's like they're posting my van for me, and me too. Okay, so um, when the, la the AI AA guy dropped me off, um, halfway between Wales and home. Um, I was started filming to explain what's going on and the next guy had already shown up to take me um, the next part of the journey. So it's very efficient. But um, now um, I've just had a call from the recovery company saying the next one is going to take me the last leg of it. It's going to be up to three hours. So I thought I'd come into the service station and grab a bite to eat. You know, I've been broken down in vehicles before and this is the best vehicle that I've ever had broken down because waiting for the recovery truck, instead of sitting awkwardly in a driver's seat, I'm in my bed. I've just had some food from uh, the service station, which I had on a plate with my own cutlery, my ketchup, and now I can just chill and relax, you know? This is how you break down properly. I hope I'm not here all night. It is the morning and I've woken up on my parents' drive, a bit like the night before I left to go to Wales. So despite the fact that I started getting this van in a more livable state, at the moment it's a bit of a bombshell. So a lot of stuff that I had in storage up in the uh, summer house at my aunt's. I had to move it all obviously and until I relocate it it's all a bit crazy in here. I can't even get into the bathroom cubicle. So. <laughs> hey there guys, so it's been a few days since my last uh, entry that I did with the camera and the camper has now come back to the place where I was staying before, the family, friends and it really feels like I've come back home actually and uh, they welcomed me back which was kind because uh, technically I guess I don't actually live anywhere um, so it's nice to come back to a nice peaceful quiet area um, on my parents road that was only temporary um, 
just to get me somewhere and um, at least now I don't have the neighbours looking through the windows because I haven't got any blinds yet. A lot of the stuff I've uh, taken out now from the front so I've actually revealed the gearbox itself so I don't think it's actually a problem with the gears as more as it's a problem with the gear selector which is jammed in second so instead of having to drop the gearbox out which I will avoid if possible but if it comes to it I have no choice but it looks like I can remove the selector um, with this access panel here and um, perhaps see and figure out what's wrong with the poor thing. I won't lie, this is not a job I really particularly wanted to have to do in the camper, um, but it's entirely my fault that it's happened, and it's just like... <sighs> right, I've got the cover off, so we can kind of see in there. Um, I've put the bolts back in, because they're all different sizes and lengths, which is uh, always tricky. You've got to make sure it goes, the right ones go back in. And then the changer is up here, so I guess I just need to figure out if the fault is with that or a fault down here. Here in this log store you will find my gearbox. So I'm going to drain the oil and clean it up and see if I can spot anything obvious where I might be able to fix it myself. If not, I'm going to have to take the plunge and possibly take it to a specialist to see if it can be sorted because replacements are almost impossible to get hold of. It's been a few days since I last filmed and I've got the gearbox washed with the jet washer and it's in the workshop now so I'm going to have a little look at it on the bench. Here she is. I've got the little inspection plate off from the side to try and see inside if there's anything obvious but so far no. 